What is going on guys, Joey Suggs here. Welcome to today's video. So the past couple weeks, I've been off my road to rip diet, I've been off my cutting phase, and I'm moving in to a maintaining phase and a reverse dieting phase. I wanna make this video a grocery haul video because I haven't been able to do a full grocery haul in a really long time and get things that I actually enjoy eating throughout the week. And then I'm gonna show you some of the recipes that I use getting the groceries from today. And as you can see, the fridge is not too bad, but pretty bare. We definitely have some room to fill it up with some goodies. Do me a favor, absolutely obliterate that like button down below. Press it any odd number of times. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's go to the grocery store. By grocery store, there's a lot of different options, but I haven't been to Whole Foods in a while, and for some reason, I'm feeling like spending way more money than I probably should or need to on food this week, so let's go see how much it's gonna be, and let's go see if we can find anything cool. Whole Foods Market on a Sunday. It is about to be so packed in here. Produce section. Okay, blueberries. These look pretty good. Feel nice and firm. I'll get one of these. I will say their guac is actually really, really good guac too. Extremely expensive, but definitely really good. Um, oh, here we go. Per Perry's request, we're gonna get some like small baby avocados. Also got to grab some of my favorite apples of all time, the Honey Crisp. Um, these are humongous too. Probably just going to grab like maybe three of these. Good little snack at work to have. I think I'm going to skip all the lettuce for right now um, just because Perry has some at home already. But I definitely am going to grab some potatoes. I've been making my fries for Perry and she's been going literally nuts over how good they are. And potatoes are like some of the best carb source in my opinion too. All right, now one sauce I'm almost positive they're not gonna have is my G Hughes. And I really need the G Hughes ketchup. There's this ketchup. It's only five calories per tablespoon. All right, you know what? We're gonna try this instead. Yeah, but as far as like low calorie sauces go, I don't really see they have a lot of amazing options here. Okay, check this out right here. Some grilled or like boiled shrimp. Sounds kind of gross since it's like already cooked, but it sounds also kind of good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, I think. Tuna steaks sound incredible, but this is this pack right here is $40. Um, this salmon looks pretty good, and it's only $25, which is still expensive compared to like getting this from Costco, but it'll do. Just some standard boneless chicken breast, and I think this is on sale, $5.99 a pound. That's not terrible. I think it's like $3.99 a pound at Costco, though. But I, I, that's, that's an unfair comparison, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Oof, and now that I have the calories, I think I'm going to go back to some 90-10 lean stuff. And this is bison, which is a good switch up from ground beef. All right, so this right here looks pretty good. Chicken thighs, pollo asada seasoned. Bone, and they're chicken thighs, too, so it's going to add a little more fat. But that's still pretty good for four ounces for 120 calories and 18 grams of protein. And pre-season, so I can just toss them right in the air fryer or whatever. I don't really want any pasta. Even if I did want pasta, they don't have the good pasta that I would typically get that's like in the bag and that's super easy to cook. Oh wait, I might have spoke too soon. No, they just have the rice. Which like this bag of rice actually seems nice. Get a couple servings out of it. Three 200 calorie servings or two 300 calorie servings. You know what, I actually might get this. Ooh, a little bit of snack, a little bit of cookies. What we got here? Oh, I tell you what I do need to get is uh, some stevia oh i've been making coffees in the morning and these little stevia packets are so nice to just like toss in my coffee so we'll get these oh check it out they have the lilies dark chocolate chips these are really good and i'm out of them and i really need some more so this is a big pickup they do have the jelly they normally go for which is the crofters over there but they don't have the peanut butter that i'm looking for that i accidentally ate the entire jar of perry's in one sitting I think hers was called like so good, but it was like a chocolate peanut butter. So maybe she'll like this one. It's probably about the same tasting, right? Well, what are the calories of these bagels? These are so good, 270 calories. Eh, I probably, I probably won't eat them honestly, but these bagels are delicious. Oh, you know what? They have some sunflower seeds here. Um, I've never tried this brand before, but I've been having sunflower seeds at work pretty often, so I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully it'll be 
a good substitute for that like super salty stuff. And as much as I want to get like a trail mix or something like this, I, I'm not sure I trust myself around it. Eight servings of 180 calories. I think I might be tempted to eat the entire bag in one sitting. So I'm going to pass on this for right now. <sighs> but you know what? I've heard really good things about this Catalina Crunch. I tried the chocolate flavor and did not like it. But maybe I try chocolate peanut butter, honey graham cracker. Holy shit, it's $10 a bag. That is insane. I don't know what the best flavor is. Let's go with honey graham. They do have my favorite honey nut cherries, but I actually have some at home, so I'm just gonna not get any here. Ooh, into my specialty, the bars. Let's see if they have anything new. I've tried a lot of their stuff already, but let's see if they have any stick out favorites, any new ones. Um, let's see, let's see. These look new, but they also look very small. And it's 200 calories. I don't want it. I'll be honest, none of these really look that good. Oof. Now what I am going to get is some of the best popcorn in the world. And they have it here, which is incredible. And that is the lesser evil Himalayan gold. This stuff is insanely good. All right. Now what is this? Lesser evil space balls, cinnamon sugar. That's a lot of calories. <laughs> um, I kind of want to try it though. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try these. Oh, now something else they actually have and I have tried and enjoyed um, are these wild chips. Uh, they're like made with chicken or egg whites or something, but they're super good. They're su also super high in protein. Each serving is 170 calories with 10 grams of protein for chips. And they're actually pretty good chips. So I am going to snack some of that. Okay, now surprising find here, this Archer whatever is on sale for $6.50. They're actually $6.99 at my grocery store. So one thing here is actually cheaper than what it would be at my grocery store, which is crazy. I like having about a pack a day of beef jerky. All right, so to go with the guac, we need to get some chips, right? And honestly, there's no healthy chips, like tortilla chips. I'm going to get these late July jalapeno lime chips because that's what sounds the best to me. There's no real good way of getting around that. All right, ice cream, frozen pizza section. Don't think I'm gonna need anything here, unfortunately. Oh, they do have Yasso bars, which are kind of nice, but I don't really want them. Oh, one thing I did want to point out that I have more of at home, um, these packets of rice right here, they're like just, already pre-cooked rice really really good i have a couple of these at home so i don't need to buy anymore but having this on hand for rice is super nice and you can measure out exactly how much you want um yeah i don't really need anything else here in the frozen section all right one thing i definitely need is egg whites do they have that here this is oh my god five dollars for a half a carton of egg whites this is normally 350 for a for a double that is insane literally insane um i do have yogurt at home and they also don't have the yogurt that i normally get so i'm not even gonna worry about it oh we're getting into like their like fresh made food which honestly i might want to have for lunch today it once again is just like insanely expensive all right did i do the whole store i think i did and here's my cart there's not much in it honestly all right, let's do a quick browse and see if I want anything from here for lunch today. Here's one right. Oh my God, it's $15. Oh, packaged sushi, buy one, get one 50% off. That's not bad if I can uh, find something else to get. Are these bowls ready by chance, you know? Uh, They're ready? Okay, all right, perfect, thank you. Oh, one thing I did need was lunch meat. I didn't think about that. I am, I'm gonna grab some lunch meat while I'm here. I don't even know what this is, but I'm sure it's fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a good lunch, I think. All right, now, if you're like really balling and you don't wanna cook for the entire week, you come here and just get all of your stuff pre-made for you, all your sweet potatoes, your chicken, your salmon. Oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm just looking. Um, yeah, super expensive, but 
pretty baller way to eat. Do I get a cookie? No, I haven't been very good on my diet. <laughs> I haven't been very good about my body recount. I'm not getting a cookie. All right, I'm just gonna do a self-checkout. I have a feeling this is gonna add up really quickly. All right, and that is how you spend $250 on two bags of groceries. That's insane. But let's go home and bust open this sushi. All right, we're home, groceries put away. Now I can finally try out the poke bowl and the sushi that we got. By the way, a very expensive trip. Didn't get that much stuff, but some cool things that I don't think you can get really anywhere else. And it's about 2 p.m., so I'm very ready for my first meal. All right, first things first, I'm just gonna go in on this tuna right here. I mean, come on, that looks pretty good. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, for a roll from a grocery store, that's pretty on point. But it honestly better be because it was the same price as a normal roll at a normal restaurant. Now this poke bowl right here, definitely lacking some sauce. I just want to dive in on it. Cucumber, avocado, rice, all the good stuff. Honestly, yeah, no complaints there. An expensive meal, yes, but a meal that I had to do literally zero work for came out to about 800 calories with 30 grams of protein, so super carb heavy, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this at 2 p.m. for my first meal of the day. All right, it's been a couple hours. Uh, although it looks like I've been sitting here getting work done, that is far from the case. I definitely should have been doing that, but instead I've been sitting over on the couch over here watching Suits and binge eating. Um, definitely been struggling with that since the road to ripped ended. And I told myself I'd give myself a week of eating whatever I wanted, still tracking it. I was eating like 4,500 to 5,000 calories every single day. And I don't know, it's tough and I'm still trying to get over it, but I am making conscious decisions to push myself towards it. Hasn't been easy, but I think we're getting there. That said, just another slip up today. So after I had my lunch, I sat and had 1800 calories of random snacks. That entire thing of guac that we got, yeah, ate that uh, with chips and then had some of the wild chips, which those are actually pretty good. Didn't need it. Uh, two Lenny Larry's complete cookie bars, a kind bar and some almond butter. I feel sick and I feel like I need to go to the gym and work this off. Not that going to the gym is gonna make up for the calories that I ate, but it'll definitely help kind of bring me back to life a little bit, make me not feel so terrible about myself maybe. But before we go to the gym, I wanna show you my pre-workout stack that I've been taking and it has been honestly game changing. I don't take it all the time, but boy is this making a difference. The Stim Booster plus the bulk black from Transparent Labs. This combo right here is like mind blowing. So it's really just this and then if I am working out arms or something like that, I'll take the pump with it as well. But we're gonna work out legs today because I have plenty of fuel in my body for a great leg day. So one good serving of the bulk black from Transparent Labs and a good serving of the Stim Booster. And that is about to be an absolutely insane workout. All right, first things first, just a little walk, a little warm up, get the blood flowing. Typically it's like 15 minutes, but today we went 20 just because I was on my phone responding to some comments and things like that. Always nice to get back with you guys whenever I have the chance. Now we can actually get into the workout. All right, first row exercise is going to be seated leg curls and I literally do I think eight sets of like 12 here three to four of them are just like warm up slowly working my way up I think today I started with 60 then went to 90 then went to 120 did two sets at 120 then went to 150 did one set there up to 165 did two sets there and that was the first exercise for the day. So definitely focusing on volume on this leg day for sure. All right, I'm moving into our main movement for the day or for my leg days as of recent, Smith machine squats. So trying to focus on getting a little better depth and doing it on a Smith machine has helped me do that quite a bit. I do want to get back into normal squats, just barbell squats. And so I'm easing my way back in, starting with the Smith machine. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna work my way back up to a typical barbell squat. Keeping the weight relatively light, 
and working on reps around like anywhere from five to eight. All right, we're gonna move into my favorite leg exercise, an angled leg press. And it's actually a two in one for me, a superset on the machine. I'm gonna do about 10 to 12 reps of just your standard leg press and feet are gonna be like a medium weight width, medium level right in the center of the machine. That way it's kind of working both your quads and your hamstrings equally. But the superset comes in as I immediately drop my feet down after I'm done with those reps and work into calves. Um, it's not the best calf raise machine, but since it's right here for me, it makes it really easy to do. So like I said, one of my favorite supersets in the gym period and makes it even better that it's a leg superset. Three sets of this here and that is a killer. All right, that was great. Now moving on to uh, hip abductors and adductors. Um, Perry calls them good girls, bad girls. They're ins and then outs. And you know what? I'm not gonna film myself doing this. You can just use your imagination of what it would look like that I do three sets of like 10 to 12 for each, okay? Up next, we're gonna do some lying hamstring curls. Always a good hamstring exercise. Actually, my favorite hamstring exercise. Oh, very painful. This is my third set. Uh -oh. All right, and to finish out our leg day, we're gonna do probably the worst slash hardest leg exercise of all, dumbbell walking lunges. Um, very simple, we're gonna do four sets, one set being down, number two set coming back, so we're gonna go up and down twice. Something about ending with this always makes my like glutes and hamstrings really sore. I think because it's all your like stabilizing muscles. But yes, as a leg day finisher, I don't know if there's any exercise better. All right, workout done. Um, and by the way, if you were wondering what this entire outfit is right here, all by TLF, and it's all on sale right now, part of TLF's end of summer sale. They have like buy two, get one free, five for $75, all sorts of insane deals. And you can use my code TLF-SUGS, save you an additional 15%, some of the best workout clothing you will ever try. Now from here, I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio and it's back home to make some food we got today. Quick little shower. Now we can get into dinner tonight. And I think I actually wanna make a couple things that we got today. This ground bison for sure is getting cooked up. And I really wanna make these pollo asada seasoned chicken thighs for tonight. All right, so for the chicken thighs, we're gonna cook them in the air fryer. Not totally sure how many we got in here. There's a nice piece of lemon. All right, we can go ahead and put that in. And I'm just gonna put it on the chicken setting, but I'll probably stop it a little before that. And I'm gonna change that to 380. And for the bison, keeping it super simple, we're just gonna toss this in the pan. And I'm gonna use some of my two favorite seasonings, the Kinder's wood fire garlic and blend seasoning. All right, we'll let that brown for just a couple minutes and it's perfectly cooked up. We'll save it in here for right now. All right, and while the chicken finishes cooking, this bison is so, so good. Like the perfect leanness to fat ratio and it sucks up that seasoning so well. And when it comes to everything else we're gonna have for dinner, I'm just gonna go frozen to keep it simple. We have the jasmine rice that I was talking about earlier in the grocery haul and some mixed veg from Costco. And this is why I love these bags of rice so much because you can just put as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna do about 200 grams for dinner tonight. And same thing for the mixed veg here. And this can just go in the microwave for a couple minutes. And for the chicken thighs, 25 minutes at 380. Left us with this right here. That looks actually insanely beautiful. Did you guys go on a walk? Never again. Are you guys tired from your walk? Yeah, you're upside down. You must be really tired, sweetie. All right, while that microwaves, trying out the chicken, I feel like it cooked perfectly in the air fryer. Yeah, one, that's on point. Two, the seasoning is like super like refreshing tasting. That's really good. All right, that out of the microwave. And I think just cause I'm feeling frisky, I'm gonna do some of the bison and some of the chicken tonight. Now that is an absolutely gorgeous meal that we made in really not that much time at all. And we have plenty of leftovers to make 
for the rest of the week. All right, now I've already tried everything by itself, but I guess let's try it all together now. Chicken, rice, ground beef, veggies, everything in there. I'm telling you, both of those meats are just so flavorful. Yeah, that is just delicious. That is a beautiful meal and beautiful calories, around 830 calories for the whole bowl. And it's a pretty good sized bowl for dinner tonight. I'm not gonna be honest, that workout was probably one of the best workouts I've had in a very, very, very long time. So this is a nice reward after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, but I still wanna try a couple more things that we got at Whole Foods today. So two things I wanna try out was one, these space balls by, Lefer, by Lesser Evil, because that sounds insane, I love balls. And then the Catalina Crunch, this honey graham flavor, I'm expecting it to kind of taste like Cheerios. So let's give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna start with the Catalina Crunch because I like my cereal soggy. So if it's not good when it's crunchy, I'm gonna let it sit and get soggy for a little bit and then try it again. Um, I don't remember exactly how much this was, but I remember it being very, very expensive for what it was. All right, I'm just gonna try one. It tastes really sweet, but it tastes like small graham crackers, kind of. We'll get some milk over top. And now that we have it soaking, let's try this right here. All right, Lesser Evil has not made a product that I haven't loved yet. So this, let's see if this is any different. That smells like cinnamon for sure. Here are the balls in all their glory. It's a very soft crunch. It's not a very hard crunch, which I absolutely love. I wouldn't say they're like bursting with flavor, but you definitely get like a hint of cinnamon sugar, I would say. Really, it's the consistency that's the good part of it. <laughs> no. Oh, you got it, she got it. Aren't they, they're like soft. The oh. second you taste it, it's gone. It's like a whiff of flavor instead of like a taste of flavor. Like I'm kind of a fan. If, if the flavor was a little more intense, they'd be really, really good. All right, now back to the cereal. It's been like a minute or so. It's still a little crunchy for my taste. It's not bad. It's a little too sweet, um, like artificial sweetener flavor. But I will say I don't taste any protein in this and I did taste like a pretty bad protein taste in the chocolate flavor. I don't know, 11 grams of protein, 110 calories, pretty insane macros actually. Very expensive, but maybe not that bad of an option. Especially if you use it as like a granola substitute. And I do have a feeling this milk is gonna be delicious after I finish all the cereal. But all in all, I would say I'm pretty satisfied with the grocery haul from today. Very expensive, but we did get some pretty good items. So if you guys enjoyed it, press thumbs up button down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments, and I'll be seeing you shortly in the next one. Peace.